Hey everyone, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, today I'm going to show you an important um, script, or not script, but uh, package that I've discovered uh, for downloading FRED data, federal data from the St. Louis Fed here. Um, this is uh, Economic Research Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis with all their cool programmatic ways to download data from uh, the Fed. Now, this is all the U.S. economic data. As I said in another video, I'll be using this quite a bit. So um, I'm deciding to uh, show you how to download the data. And then at some point, I'll probably show you how to create um, a CSV file for it that you can later use um, for other algorithms or other uh, strategy development. This is just for forward-looking data. All right, so what you need to do is one of the requirements is you need to get a key from the um, U.S. Uh, or the St. Louis Fed. You can register, uh, and uh, there's a little section there on uh, keys. Pr pretty easy stuff. Um, also, um, there's a GitHub repo repository uh, called FRED. And this is a Python package that you can use, and it has a pretty good little readme in it. And uh, I just want to show you the, my set of instructions. So this will definitely work on uh, Mac or uh, the uh, Linux, whatever Linux you use. Windows I'm finding with Python, it's kind of hairy. Um, uh, but uh, you will need to install another uh, package we'll get into. So first of all, you need to go into your uh, terminal or your command prompt windows, do a git clone on this repo. Uh, and in there, uh, what will happen is, uh, let me just show you what happens. Um, typically, uh, we get a, so I have here, um, let me just show you, I have a Python directory. And then in there, I have a Fred directory. And uh, as you can see, we have um, the Fred uh, and some setup stuff and uh, some testing stuff. I'm not going to run the testing. I'll do that manually through other means. So as I said, we got to register for our um, Fred key, API key. And in there, uh, in the GitHub, you'll find that there's a readme uh, package. So usually it's at the bottom. So I said, I'll tell you to get the uh, API key. All you got to do is just export in, um, in your command prompt this as an environmental variable called, let's say, Fred API key. In uh, let, me see. let me show you some examples here. Okay, so in here, we go into our Python. Before I forget, I uh, forgot one important step. We have to install our package. Now, once you set up your Fred API key, you need to set up the uh, pa Python package for Fred. So in here, you'll see this setup Python script. All you got to do is real easy is just uh, run the, this little guy, Python setup install on your, uh, in your terminal and it'll set it up. Once you do that, uh, you will need to install pip before you can run any of the uh, ARP packages for Fred. That's pretty simple. You just go pip install mock. That's one of the required um, packages for Python. Once you get that done, you just continue uh, reading the readme, and that will at some point take you to the um, examples, which I'm going to show you. So what we got to do here is we got to import Our Fred. Oh, that's the name Python. Import Fred. 
Now the question is, uh, I believe I have my API key already in the environmental variables, uh, as I showed you earlier. So let's try running some of these commands here. Uh, Internal prompt. So we're going to do Fred category. I think that runs fine. So let's do uh, 24. That didn't work before. So let's uh, go into releases. These are the economic releases info. So there's some releases info. Uh, let's specifically look for one. Two fifty. Uh, then we can do Fred dates. Um, and then let's run some series. Fred series E N P C A. Whatever that is. Real Gross National Product is what it is. Uh, so let's do some observations, I guess. You get the idea. Uh, Fred. Observations. So we'll put in uh, play. Okay, that all seems to be working. Let's do Fred Vintage. Let's see what that does. As usual, my chat thing is getting away. So Vintage, I guess. Fred Sources, where they get their data. Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, Department of Labor. Bureau of Transportation, so on and so forth. That's for all US data. So let's just do one last test for the 23rd row, I would imagine. There we go, so Department of Treasury. All right, so um, everything seems to look okay. I wanna show you that. Um, and then from there, within your a Python script, obviously you have to parse this out for whatever you need. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to make a, a CSV out of that and see where we can go. All right, so see you in another video.